so it's me your little boy Iki Samson. good morning to all my amazing chosen one so i have something special for us today you know don't mind your mockers don't mind those who refuse to support you you know this word may look like encouragement but it's deeper than what me myself is thinking about you know what i'm saying so believe me your hustle must surely pay you your pain must surely pay you the delay must surely pay you your suffering must surely pay you. <laughs> you are denied, but you can't just be like that forever. They denied you, they delayed you. But yes, it gets some certain things people will deny you from getting. Either some job, opportunities, privilege, they denied you. But the greater, the, the, the greater thing is this. The greater one is ahead of that. You know what I'm saying? So no matter what they did to you, no matter what they have done, the truth is that something big is always ahead of it. You know what I'm saying? Something big is always ahead of all your struggle. You are not struggle for what for nothing. You are not passing pain for nothing. You are not suffering for nothing. You are not crying that cry, feeling pain, feeling as if you are rejected for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So the truth is what I'm here to tell you. Something big is always ahead of whatsoever you are going through. So if they delay you today, if people make you feel like you are not accepted, you are not welcome, if people make you feel like you are not up to their level, if people refuse to support you, if people whom you have been there for them for so long, and the end, they betrayed you, they reject you, they abandoned you, don't feel bad. Because the truth is, must be told <laughs> your hustle must surely pay you one day that those who look down on you one day will start to find way to look up to you believe me that those who abandoned you rejected you make you feel like you are not worthy make you feel like you are not you are not worthy to be part of success make you feel like you are you are not worthy to leave this world make all manners of mockery about your hustle make you feel like you are not going to succeed you are not going to make it but believe me something huge will surely come out of that word that your pain yes believe me that's why i always urge us don't look at don't, don't mind don't give a damn on what people is saying don't just look at your situation and think it is over. Don't just look at your beginning and think there is no reason to continue. Don't just think, look at your beginning and think what is the essence? What is the reason of me hustling every day? What is the reason of me hunting every day? What is the reason of me not quitting? Because something huge is ahead of that pain. Something huge is ahead of that delay. Something huge is ahead of that disappointment. Something huge is ahead of that frustration. Something huge is ahead of that word, that struggle. Something huge is ahead of that word, that, 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 that tears you share secretly. Because out of the valley must surely flow out a living water. When the people of Israel were in, in, what, in pain, because all everything around them were, were like no, no productive, nothing. And they call a man of God called Elijah, be Elisha. They said to him, Master, oh, oh man of God, oh mentor of God, the servant of God, the mentors that we believe, we believe in you. Listen, we are passing through a lot. Our crops are dying. Everything about us is dying. Nothing to show off. Nothing to do or to see. People were mocking at them. People were laughing because they know. I can figure out that they have heard a lot of mockery from all that world. They have heard a lot of people talking bad of them. Maybe some, some people have been telling them it is the cost of what you did. It is what you have done that make God to allow these things to be occurring around you. But they refuse to give up despite of people who give up upon them. They call the man of God. And Elijah be like, he called upon God. And he said, bring salt and water. He made a declared prophetic word. And he said to them, go and spread it. The Bible says, immediately they spread the water on the ground. Everything that is dead around them come to life. So my brothers and sisters, don't give hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Because there's something huge 
in that pain. There's something huge in that delay. You are delayed today does not mean you are denied from, from becoming successful. They delay you, but they can't deny you from not fulfilling your, your purpose. So don't let people who don't understand where God is taking you to make you feel like quitting. Don't let people who don't understand your mission on earth make you feel like giving up. So be, be, be yourself because greater is ahead of it. Your husband will surely pay you, believe me, that one day you will stand and be thinking, <coughs> you will just be thinking, uh, where I do used to be, you won't be able to remember or recall. So remember, don't give up. Keep hustling because greater doors are, are, are made to be opened. You know what I'm saying? So remember, may God bless you.